Hola mi amigos, welcome back to another Screw Toy action figure review. And before we get started, make sure you guys hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification button to let you guys know when I post a new video or when I go live. Now the figure that we'll be looking at here today is the Marvel Select The Watcher. And I'm very excited to review this figure for you guys. That's This figure's been on pre-order for a very, very long time. It went up for pre-order early 2021, and uh, now we're finally getting it. Crazy enough though, I did not pre-order this guy. I actually found him at my local comic book store. And from the looks of it on Facebook groups, that's where everybody seems to be finding theirs at their local comic book shop. So make sure you hit your local comic book shop, support them, buy some comics and see if you can find the watcher. But we'll get a quick look here at the packaging and we'll get a quick look at the figure itself. Now I'm going to quick look at the packaging. It's your standard Marvel Select packaging. It's big, it's bulky. Once you open the figure, the packaging is trash. On the side, you get a very nice panel that says Marvel, the Watcher, Marvel Select, picture of the moon right there. You get the Watcher right there in that big window. Do not eat any of the accessories. On the back, you get some promotional images, the name of the character, Marvel Select. A read up on the character right there, so you want to pause it and read that now. Can't do so. Very nice image of the Watcher right there. You get a barcode right there, a whole bunch of uh, bullshit right there on the side. Very nice image of the Watcher from the comics. But yeah, man, same packaging we come to know from Marvel Select. Let's crack this bad boy open. Now getting a quick look at all the accessories that the Watcher does come with. This is it. It comes with a little base that shows that he's standing on the moon. It is just pink plastic with a very nice black wash to bring out all those sculpted details. You do get two pegs right there to help him stand. And yeah, man, nice little accessory. Wish he would have came with more. But as is, it's pretty good. And here we have Big Baby Head himself, the Watcher. And just straight up, man, this figure is a glorified statue. First time we got this figure was back in 20, no, 2005. And then we got a reissue of him in 2014. And then again in 2021 when the pre-orders went up. And uh, yeah, man, this figure is just a, again, glorified statue. It's very limited in articulation because it is still the same setup we got back in 2005. But he does look quite nice. You get some very nice details, some very nice paint apps. And the uh, sculpting is also quite nice. Starting off at the top of the head, it is just a big, shiny, bald head. The eyes are very nicely applied. You get a very nice trim of black around them. The lips are nicely applied as well. I believe the shade on this guy is a little bit different from the original release and the previous release. Uh, I think the previous one is a little bit more darker, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but you also do get some very nice shading here in the musculature, as you can see right there. The gloves are very nicely painted gold. You get the sash right here in blue with some very nice black uh, wash in there to bring out those sculpted details. Moving down to the skirt, it's just simple, plain white plastic. The legs are very nicely shaded as well. Even under that skirt, they put some paint in there. The boots are just solid blue. The back of the cape is just blue plastic with a very nice shade of black. Again, to bring out some of those details and give it a um, kind of like a shadow effect. The inside of the cape on top right here around the collar, it's just black plastic and yeah man not much to him uh, the torso right here does have some very nice sculpted details you get that very nice emblem right there in gold and then you get a nice silver in that center and then you get a little bit of sloppiness right there it looks like some paint is missing but nothing too bad yeah again not much to this figure man uh, he is nice you know he does just kind of stand there and watch over the Marvel Universe so you're not gonna have him in dynamic poses or anything so it does work for what he is, man, and uh, yeah, can't complain. But let's get a quick look at articulation, and we'll get some size comparisons. Now, getting a quick look at articulation. Again, this is 2005 articulation, far from what we've come to know now in modern day. His head is on a ball joint, and he can not look down. He cannot look up. You do get some swivel there, but it does rotate up, as you see. I rotate it, and it angles up. Uh, so that is a little bit odd. His arms are on ball joints, and they move up great amount actually look at that it's probably the best articulation from this figure he does have upper bicep swivel which i do enjoy that he does have single jointed elbows to bend in just 90. his hands are just on hinges so you can only hinge them up and down no you know peg in there to kind of help it rotate or anything he does have a waist swivel right there and then that's it everything else is solid plastic no articulation on the legs ankles or anything so again outdated articulation but he is just going to be standing there on your shelf looking over all your mcu characters or mcu marvel characters i'm sorry and uh yeah man a little bit unfortunate wish they would have updated him a little bit more with the articulation but as is again it will do 
Now getting a quick look at some size comparisons. Here we have the Watcher next to the Marvel Legends Deluxe Thanos, the Marvel Legends Retro Card Ant-Man, the Marvel Legends Beast, the Marvel Legends 80th Anniversary Thor, the Mafex Ben Riley, and last but certainly not least, here we have the Unparalleled Captain America. And there you have it, a pretty solid offering by Marvel Select. Again, if you know Marvel Select, old school Marvel Select, you know what you're getting into, man. It's pretty much a glorified statue, again, to put it into simple terms. He's going to have some articulation, but very, very limited. I'm surprised how well those arms actually move. They're a lot more articulated than I thought they would. Uh, but overall, still a very solid figure. Again, he's not a very dynamic character, so he's just going to be standing there looking over your Marvel figures, man. Put him on a shelf above all your Marvel you know, action figures, and boom, there you have it. That's all you need. So if you just want the Watcher there standing, go ahead and pick this figure up, man. He's pretty great. Again, the details are magnificent, but if you like articulation, you like posing your figures, I would skip out on this one and hopefully wait that the Marvel Legends team will do one. A little bit more articulated than this guy, but this one right here, man, I think he's solid enough. He still looks good, even being, in what, over... 15 years old at this point so again man you can't really complain as you know this is a very very old figure but enough of me rambling on make sure you guys hit that like subscribe and bell notification to know when i go live or post a new video and i'll catch you guys next time peace